Hi, welcome to Paul's Tackle Reviews. My name is Paul Cresswell. The purpose of this channel is to give you reviews of tackle that's been out on the bank, tried and tested by an unsp unsponsored and unbiased angler, and that's me. I've just come to the end of a uh, near the end of a short series I've done on pace fishing but most of the stuff I do on this channel is reviewing tackle and taking you through what I use and giving you my experiences. Today I'm going to take you through my hook boxes the, and what I carry and what I use in what circumstances uh, for on the pole or on the feeder. I'm not covering long uh, waggler rigs. I'm just looking at my two short hook boxes today. And I've got two and I've got the Matrix HLS with a lovely Paul's Tackle Review sticker on there. Um, this does four and six inch. And I'm gonna go through in detail and I'll put the camera over the top um, and there are 20 pegs within there and then I've got an old Guru one and I've got mainly the feeder ones in there you can actually do two inch three four five and six that's got 11 pegs in there for storage as well so I tie my own spade end hooks. I'm very proficient with the little device that I use, the electronic hook tire, which I've covered in another video. Why do I tie my own when there are some great ones available in the shops? And the answer is I can pick my hook pattern to my preferred line and tie them at the length that I want. And whilst, like I said, there's lots of good stuff in the shops, it doesn't give you every single option and every uh, length of hook length that you might want to carry. I don't tie my own when they come with bait bands or bayonets or spikes. I I'm just don't have the flexibility, I don't think, to tie really good ones. I also think that commercially available ones now are absolutely excellent and really well worth trying if you do struggle to tie them yourselves. I mainly tend to buy the Preston pre-tied but there are some combinations that I like to have and I use a company called Pro Hooks and I'll put the website on the bottom and uh, you tell them what hook you want, what kind of band, spike, bayonet, what length hair that you want, what kind of line you want them tying to, and the length that you want. And they will come back with a quote, and then you can go ahead, and about four weeks later, some brilliantly tied hooks turn up. And I'll go through that in more detail when we look up close at some of the work that they've done. My preferred lines for hook lens um, on the pole are I use Ultima Power Match, I'll put a photo there, in 010 and 012, and I use the Matrix Power Micron in 014, 016, and 020. So I've got 10, 12, 14, 16, and 20. And people sometimes say, why don't you have an 18? Because I think if you're getting beyond 016, the difference in presentation between an 020 and an 018 is absolutely microscopic. You might as well go all the way to 020. And it just saves the amount you have to carry and the amount you have to tie as well. Now, I, I've done a couple of videos on measuring lines, measuring their breaking strain and seeing their performance, their actual diameter. And the big conclusion was that there aren't any bad lines out there and there aren't any super lines that are miles above the rest. So all the main lines are excellent to use. That's my choice. And if you do want to find out more, then have a look at the lines videos 
that I've done. Right, I'm going to go straight into the hook boxes, so we'll cut away now and I'll be over that and I'll take you through in detail. Right, let's go through the hook box. And just before anybody asks me the question, is the label printer that I use to do all my kind of neat labels in my boxes. I just got this from Argus, the refillable um, band uh, ribbons. They You can get them on, off eBay, really useful. And I don't just use it for labeling this, it's really handy for other things as well. So let's start at the top of the box. And the first one, un, unlabeled, is I do carry these what I call extenders and they are 020 line with a loop on either end. And I've mentioned these in previous videos. If you've got your rig absolutely perfect and the wind gets up and the lash isn't long enough, then you can just extend it by six inch and that can probably help you carry on with that rig rather than setting up a new one um, and if the conditions improve you can just snip it off and I always carry a few of those and in my long hook box for waggler fishing I've also got some 12 inch ones as well if if you do need to add a lot more line. So the first three hooks are the Drennan Acolyte Silverfish hook and I carry sizes 16, 18 and 20. I don't think I've used a 20 yet, but in the depths of winter, that might be what's needed. I, I fish all year round, whatever the weather, I'm going out and sometimes it's rock hard and a single pinky on a size 20 Drennan silverfish, I can't rule out as part of my winter fishing. These are excellent lightweight little hooks, but they do have strength. And if you're matching up uh, one of these to 010 and maybe a 7 or a 6 to 8 hybrid elastic, I've had double figure carp out in winter with that kind of setup. So you can land big fish if you've got your tackle balanced correctly. All three of those are tied six inch long. I'm tending to be using maggots with those or casters or pinkies or a bit of worm. I, would, I wouldn't have a problem putting um, a small um, expander on there, a four or even a two mil in winter. I think that would work great. The next one, I've got three pegs and I've got uh, the Drennan Acolyte Maggot Plus and I've got the 16 to 012. I've also got the 16 to 012 to 6 inch so I've got 4 inch and 6 inch and then I've got the 012 18 to 6 inch as well. These are a fantastic winter hook and you can use these say with an 8 to 10 hybrid elastic in winter you can lap land all kinds of enormous fish. I did land a 16 pound carp with an 012 um, to a 6 to 8 elastic last winter, one of my greatest fish, fish ever. So they've got some strength. I'm perfectly happy using these for expanders in winter, which is something I do quite a lot, maybe going for the skimmers. When I'm fishing with the expanders, I do tend to fish a four inch hook length. I think it's just a little bit more sensitive and a little bit more direct. But there are times when you might use a six and I might be using maggots, casters or other live baits with that. Now we're on to the uh, Drennan Acolyte Carp Pellet. DP and what you'll see initially is I put a number 14 and then in brackets I put number 16 and the reason for this is I think Drennan have got this wrong because I'm going to put a photo up now of a Drennan 16 silverfish, a Drennan 16 Maggot Plus and a 14 carp pellet 
and you will see that they're almost the same size. Now, I don't expect manufacturers to be consistent because they've all got their own agendas and they've all got their own suppliers, but I do expect a manufacturer to be consistent in their range and I think they've sized these incorrectly. So you'll see there I've got a size 14 which is about a 16 to 014 on 4 inch. I've then got a size 12 which is equivalent to a 14 and I've got that on 4 and 6 inch. Sometimes you just want your bait to come in a little bit slower Maybe you're, you're fishing a bulk and two droppers and then you can you can have a six inch hook length, a six inch gap between your two dropper shot and then it will all fall in nicely. And I've also got it to four inch as well. I need to move this now. Okay. <laughs> I've then got um, two more of the drone and pellet. I've just realised I put DS there, but that isn't. So I've got the 12, which is equivalent to a 14 to 016. If you're stepping up and you're going for bigger fish, or maybe you've been broken on 014. I've also got the size 10, um, which is equivalent to a 12 to 016 and that's my kind of go-to paste fishing um, When I'm not going for monster fish general all-round paste fishing. I will use that 12 to 016 I've also got a 12 GPM which is a Preston to 014 and the reason I've got that is if you go somewhere where the, they strictly enforce the rule on hooks, then a lot of places say it's got to be a 12, and I can't use that 10. I don't think this is likely to happen, but the GPM is what I used to use, the 12 to 014, and I will, I will use that if I'm mainly catching skimmers on the pole. I think that works really well. I've got two hooks set up with very strong line, I've got the 14 XSH and the 12 XSH. They're both from Preston, four inch long. That's going to be margins, really big fish, strong elastics. And I've, I've, used, the, I've used both of those on a short one piece kit with MIDI 18 to 20, holding them away from snags. Really, I can't see why you would need a stronger hook than that as a spade. It's a brilliant hook and, and super stuff. I've then got uh, some eyed hooks, mainly for kind of F1 and shallow carp fishing. So I've got the 16 GPM to 013, that's tied on end gauge, and the 16 GPM 015, again on end gauge. And these are from Pro Hooks, and I've gone for what they call the ringer's hair. I'll put a photo up. It's where the hair, uh, where the band is right on the back of the hook. I personally choose the three millimeter bands. I, I can't be doing with them tiny ones. And if I get a three mil one, I don't need to use a banding tool, which slows me down. So. I've got two lots of the 15. I'm waiting for some more 13s there. These are brilliant. Now, Preston do these pre-tied, but they are six inch long and they do come with the micro band. And, and that's not what I want. So I've got these from Pro Hooks. They are fantastically tied. At the bottom here, I've got 16 KKMB to 019. And that's what a Pro Hook call a short hair. And if I'm method feeder fishing, a 16 KKMB is a real go-to hook for me, never let me down. But what I find with the ones from Preston is they don't tie the band in a loop. And again, I'll put a photo and you can see the difference in the photo. Both of the ones in the photo have been used for catching fish and the pro hook ones, the band is still sat where you want it to be 
and then with the Preston ones, inevitably it gets a bit kind of damaged and it, it, it just hangs and I'm not overly keen where that works. So that's why I order these. They are also uh, four inch. I've gone for 019 and the Preston pre-tides are 017, but don't forget that's 017 Reflo power. So it's probably 019 anyway, and that's why I went for that. Right, here we have my um, Guru box. And th those prongs there are slightly raised from the others, and that's to help you with tying them. But so th I don't even know what they are, to be honest. So I've got, that's the same as what I just had in the uh, Matrix box. That's just so I can carry a really good supply. And if I want to fish dead maggot, I'll just take the band off and, and hook it on using that. I've also got the Preston pre-tides with the quick stop. I do love a piece of corn or an expander when you're fishing the pellet feeder or you're fishing the method feeder. I know a lot of people don't like that. I find it works on the venues I go to. They're the Preston ones to Reflo. They're excellent hooks. I've then got the MCM, which is the Preston Circle hook. I've got 14 to 019, and that's got the um, bayonet on it, and they're four inch. So if I'm fishing a biggish kind of wafter, I don't really fish massive wafters, but six, maybe an eight mil wafter, then that nicely balances it and that's to 19 reflo so it's probably 021 so you've got a really strong setup there i've also got the mcm uh, to the 019 with a band don't use very many of those but maybe if you're putting a hard pellet on a big hard pellet and a big hook can work as well and then i've got the kkh which is that the KKM is the medium, but don't be uh, misled. They are proper strong. The KKH to 021 with a band, and that's really the strongest setup that, that I have. And then finally, we've got the other side, which is kind of odds and sods in, in here. Now, what I said was you can have two inch hook lengths and you need to use these top brain pins. So they're set an inch apart. So I've got some KKMBs there and some without a band, whatever. Not a huge fan of two inch hook lengths, but if I'm having a day when I can tell the fish are there, but they're not having it, then I will try a two inch hook length. And it's sometimes it is the best way to catch. I've then got a few down here, which are all to three inch. So that's three, four, five, six. I've got some GPMs. And to be honest, when I went in here, I can't remember the last time I used any of these. It probably needs updating now and changing to the Drennan hooks, but I've got them if I need them. Maybe I've got a very shallow margin. So I need a slightly shorter hook length as well. So that's it in detail. I hope you found that interesting. As always, if you've got any comments or any questions, put it below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. So what are my conclusions? And this is an ongoing process where I refine what I carry each year. And if I get to the end of the year and I find I haven't used any of them, well, clearly I don't need to be carrying them and I might carry a different size or a different breaking strain or a different length of hook length as well. Uh, the Acolyte hooks I'm extremely impressed with. I think they're the sharpest hook I've, I've used. They are not heavy hooks, but you do get good strength for the weight of the hook. I, in particular, I absolutely love the Maggot Plus to 012. It really is a, a do anything kind of winter uh, where you could catch a massive carp or you could catch a tiny little skimmer. I'm going to do a video next time that's 
going to be talking about balance tackle. So what does that mean? It means how you tie your hooks, how you choose your lines and how you choose your elastics. And I've done a table that will hopefully give people an understanding of how to balance tackle because it's a phrase that's used a lot, but I know some people struggle with that. If you want to give me a like, a thumbs up, that's great. If you want to subscribe, you'll get automatically notified of any future videos. There's over 70 videos now. Have a look at the back catalogue. If there's anything you'd like me to do a video on, then put it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, tie lines.